In this video, I want to show you the new question bank for the T7. This is provided to you by Archer Review, and for a limited time, it is available for free. As of January 2023, this is a brand new product for the T7. All sorts of question types, multiple choice, fill in the blank, drag to rearrange, and more. Where can you find it? Head over to tease.archerreview.com. And we're gonna click on that buy now button right here in a moment, but again, it is free for a limited time. But before you do that, go ahead and scroll to the bottom of this page. And depending on which device you have, go ahead and pick up the Tease 7 Archer Review app. You can access these resources while you're on the go. Scroll back up a little bit. Myself, Brandon Craft, Susanna Hines, Tammy Summerlin, we are your Tease instructors. We have been working hard on free webinars, this question bank, and more stuff will be coming soon. And up here at the top, if you click buy now, maybe you did see this already as you were scrolling. The QBank is for free. For $12, you can access all of the previous webinars that we have done. The three instructors I just mentioned, we have math, English, reading, and science webinars. I'm gonna show you those right here in a moment as well. But for now, let's try out this free QBank. You will have to create an account, but once you create your account, head to your dashboard. Now there are other products available from Archer Review. NCLEX, that will be later on down the road for most of you watching this. But for now, the T's QBank, you have a visual representation of keeping up with various tidbits of data. But the main thing I wanna show you here is how to create a test. So let's do that now. And depending on whether you have answered some questions or not, unused will be the unused questions. You can mark questions. You can look at the ones you've gotten incorrect in the past, or you can just go and look at all of the questions at one time. Now these numbers will be changing as time goes on. More questions are getting added to the QBank on a regular basis. Now before we select some options, let's talk about tutorial. This is checked. And what tutorial mode does is it will show you the answer and give you an explanation after every question that you do. You also have this timed option as well. But the main thing we're after here is looking at these question types. And then the maximum number of questions is set to 45, but you can adjust that to whatever you want. For example, I'm gonna do 10. And I'm just gonna to go to the unused. So you can notice here that this number is less than this number because I have answered several questions in the QBank, but this is a great way to make sure you're not getting the same question twice. Tapping on next. Now you can select various subjects. So you can focus on all of the subjects at once, or in my case here, I'm just gonna look at some math questions. But once you choose those subjects, tap on next, and then within those subjects, you can select specific topics or lessons. So maybe I wanna see some questions on solving equations, some word problems with percents, word problems with proportions, word problems with ratios. Now you may notice that you do see some other topics or lessons down here. These are from the English reading and science. And since I did not select those on the previous screen, these are not selectable here. But now that we have our options selected, let's create the test. And recall, I did select 10 questions. It will gather 10 random questions from what we chose. And let's just go over some navigation and some things I want you to do as a student. This QBank is free. We want feedback from you all. What do I mean? Let's suppose you're working on a question and I'm just gonna select a random answer. Since we are in tutorial mode, you'll see whether you got it right or wrong. You'll see the correct answer and then you have an explanation over here. Anytime you see a typo or a mistake, it happens. What we would like for you to do is tap on this icon up here. This will let you leave question feedback. And what this will do is allow the content creators such as myself to go back and edit these questions. We would really appreciate that if you can provide that feedback for us. And checking out some of these other icons up here. This one right here is real neat. You can keep notes based on specific questions. For example, for this problem, maybe I need to review proportions. It's automatically saved. And if we close out of here, I'm gonna to jump to another question and I'm gonna answer this question. When we submit, again, we get that feedback. We got this question correct. You still have the explanation, but what I wanna show you here is this. I'm gonna open up this note again and maybe we're good with equations here. Just a quick note, automatically saved. And what we can do now is up here at the top, this icon, you can look back and you can see the questions that you answered in this 10 question quiz because we did select 10 questions and you can also access these notes. But one more thing too, let's jump to another question and maybe we're having trouble with this one, a fill in the blank. Let's flag it. Let's go to another question. I'm going to answer this one as well. 
Got that one wrong. Ooh, maybe I do need to go back and look at equations. You can write that note down, but check this out up here. It'll even show what you flagged. We did flag question number three. We did not answer it. We recorded notes for questions one and two, so a visual representation of questions you flagged, notes that you've made for specific questions. This question lineup screen is a good way to navigate through those questions. Now you do have an on-screen calculator for the math portion, and maybe you might need it for a question or two in the other subjects. You can pause your test and resume later. If you close your test, it will end it, and we can confirm that. And what we have here is the result screen. Now, a lot of feedback here, time that you spent on the question, whether you got it right or wrong, whether you flagged it. And then if you wanna access these questions again, just tap on this QID. For example, this equation that I thought I got right, I thought I was good with equations, but we can go back and instantly access that. You can even flag it, we we'll to close, exit the review, and now you can see that we have two questions flagged. Now, if we head back to our dashboard, the T's QBank, you can access those previous tests right here, and it will keep up with all of your tests. The ones that you did click close or finishing the quiz, you will see result and analysis. Whereas if you paused one, you can resume it here. And then this option here, notes, we can see notes that we made for those specific questions. I made some earlier in science and English. And then if you recall, we did add two more notes for these math questions. So that's a broad overview of this free QBank. Now, one more thing to mention, for $12, you can access the topic webinars, and this will be an ever-growing list of videos, and it's hours upon hours of instruction. For example, right here, two hours and five minutes. Here's a three-hour, almost four-hour video. These are the webinars that we have done for free in the past, and if you miss those webinars, this is where you can access those $12, 30 days access. And again, more videos will be added on a regular basis. But you can see that the topics covered here is very broad, very helpful in you preparing for the T7. Now, one more thing to mention here too with the webinars. For certain webinars, you can view the notes from those, download them, and follow along in the videos. And there you have it, the T7 QBank, free for a limited time from Archer Review. And also make sure to pick up the app depending on what device you have so that you can do this on the go. And with this QBank again, there's all of those question types, fill in the blank, multiple choice, drag to rearrange, and more. And then don't forget the topic webinars for T7, hours upon hours of instruction. Please don't forget to leave the feedback for us as well. This is a brand new product and we want to make it as helpful as possible for you, the student, and for future students as well. If you have any questions about this T7 QBank or other pre-nursing questions, feel free to reach out by emailing prenursing at archerreview.com. Thanks for watching and we hope you find these resources helpful.